What up, 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 Crypto Warriors, it's Sergeant Crypto, back at it again today is Monday, February 24th, 2020. Investing is a marathon, not a sprint. We like to think of investing as letting your money work for you. We know it sounds too good to be true, but it does have find out how it works in the traditional and crypto worlds. This is coming from Economy uh, blog, a crypto blog, and this was last year, March 25th, or March 5th, 2019. Six minute read, not too long, but I'm gonna be breaking it down. So it may take a little bit longer, but I wanted to just say really quick, especially in, in the crypto space, we tend to think that, hey, if I put my money in this week, it needs to, you know, 100X, 200X <laughs> by next week. And it's because of a couple of things. One being mainly the, the age of the internet. I've seen from my time in high school in the late 90s, where I had to physically take my butt to the library, library to do research, use things like the encyclopedia, look up things in different books and find different articles if I wanted to, to write a paper for say history class or whatever the case may be whereas now I could do it from the comfort of my own home and just Google search something on my iPhone or you know I have my laptop whatever the case is it's a lot easier now and I don't have to take myself out of the comfort of my own home and go someplace physically like like a library the information is right there in less than a second. So our attention span as a whole has been significantly reduced because of the internet. I'm not gonna to get too philosophical about that, whether it's good or bad, I think it's mostly good, but because of that, I think, and this is just you know me speaking here, some dude on the internet, I think because of that, we, we, we tend to put that idea of having everything instantly at the snap of a finger, try to relate that to everything from meals to whatever it is, right? Fast food, whatever it is, to investing. And when we saw that big run up in 2017, what a lot of people failed to realize, including myself, was that those people that were making the money in 2017, you know, they've been in crypto or in Bitcoin specifically since 2010, since 2011. All right, 2012, 2013. I remember when I was in the Marine Corps Reserve, my cousin who was in the, who was in the Marines with me said something about Bitcoin. This is like 2010, 2011. And he was like, hey, you ever heard of this Bitcoin thing? I think you should look into it. I looked into it. The first thing I saw was, oh, it's a scam. And I was like, no, nah, it's a scam, leave it alone. And we left it alone, right? We never, I never did my due diligence and dug a li little deeper to find out what was really happening with bitcoin and what what it was about so let's just get into it before I, you know i went off on a, a tangent already so let's let's just get into it point being we, we like to get things happening quick too quick in today's society all right so we're talking about investing all right so what is in investing anyway we like to think of investing as letting your money work for you we know it sounds somewhat unreal but it does happen historically you could put your money in a bank account and earn interest on it uh, the thing is interest rates don't really compete well with inflation inflation basically means you can buy less and less with the same amount of money over time in the 90s you put your money in a bank account you could probably get maybe I don't know, 8% with a, with a certificate of deposit, a CD, where you lock up a certain amount of money for a certain amount of time and you get, let's just say, 10% return. And we saw that kind of thing, the, the amount of uh, interest on those kind of bank accounts or um, investment vehicles drop over time, all right? It, 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 that was good in the 90s and then in the, in the early 2000s, it was like, maybe 8% or maybe 6%. And then, you know, like by like the 2010s after the banking crisis, it is basically nothing, you know, or if you have a regular savings account, you could have put your money in a regular savings account and earned a good amount of interest on it, you know, on a yearly basis. Now savings accounts, you'll be lucky to get a full 1% every year on, on your money. So it doesn't pay to save because inflation is working against you. All right. You could also buy bonds, essentially lending money to the government or a company, i.e. by buying government bonds or corporate bonds. In the 20th century, stocks have been the most profitable investment you could make in the long run. The average annual return on U.S. stocks in the period 1928 to 2017 
was 11.5%. For comparison, the average inflation rate in the same period is was 2.7%. I'm not going to get into the real inflation rate where you, you have people talking about the real inflation rate is double that. Okay, so 5 to 6%. I'm not going to get into that. The, the numbers are out there. They're saying that it's 2.7%. But the stock uh, market, market from 1928, right before the Great Depression, the big crash in 29, has been 11.5% average over the, the past almost, what's that? I don't know, 90 years? 89 years, right? So there. Uh, scroll down some more. And it gives these numbers here. I didn't highlight it, but if you had invested $100 in 1928 in either treasury bills at a 3.4% rate of return in 2018, that would amount to a little over $2,000. The same $100 in government bonds at 5.2% return would have been $9,500. Corporate bonds, $13,400. And in the stock market at 11.5%, would have equaled almost 1.8 million dollars but who has time to wait a hundred years you know we we don't have we don't live to to be 900 we don't live to be you know 500 whatever the case is because it's hard to think in the hundred years term i just said that a hundred dollar investment in the stock market for a typical 10-year period would amount to nearly 300 dollars. still fascinating you invest a hundred dollars and in 10 years you can have up to three times as much over the long run. All right, so they give some charts here. All right, is investing really the promised land? And they give a chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And starting in 1928, again, the big crash right after in 29, or starting in 29, actually, and the big crash, boom. So it's, it's just showing you that things go up and down, up and down, up and down over the course of many, 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 many years. If you compare the value of the DJIA, the Don Jones Industrial Average, in the graph, you can see something interesting. Despite quite severe drops, the values generally keep getting higher over time. The value of the Dow Jones Industrial Average today more than tripled its value in 2009. Not bad. So if you had, so if you had invested $100 back in 2009 into the stock market of pretty much triple by now economy yes is a crypto company and if you're wondering why they're talking about stocks you heard a few reasons you've probably heard of stocks before stocks have a long history from which we can all learn something stock prices go up and go down in the long run patience is rewarded with significant returns here it is didn't bitcoin lose most of its value in 2018 with the bitcoin price decreasing by a jaw dropping 80 percent from its all-time high yes that did happen that typically happens within uh, that four-year cycle of bitcoin so bitcoin versus stock on march 31st 2011 bitcoin was worth 78 cents on march 31st 2019 its value value was four thousand one hundred and four dollars and forty cents that's a 50 let me say my bad i said 50 that's a 526,205.13 percent return in eight years that's basically 5,000 262x increase in value that make return in stock investments look downright small and that goes back to what i said way in the beginning of this video where i said our attention span right our attention span has decreased a lot so in eight years we had a 5200x but it took eight years versus in the stock market it typically would have taken maybe 50 years to get that 5200x because of the internet because of things just moving a whole lot faster than it did in the 20th century we, we could see those gains but it's not going to happen overnight you, you still have to have that patience Bitcoin is the most secure transaction settlement layer in the world so it's got to be worth something it's the best performing asset class over the past 10 years it's outperformed the S&P Nasdaq etc during the longest bull run we got to remember since 2009 the bottom 
of the stock market crash, basically, from the last financial crisis, the stock market has only been going up. We haven't seen it basically corrected itself yet. And it typically corrects itself every eight to 10 years or so on average. We have not seen the correction yet. It's just been going up, 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 and up, and up. During that time, Bitcoin has been going up, 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 and up, and up, some almost 9 million percent over the past decade. It experienced 285% drops during that time but it's still up over 400 percent in the last two years this is from anthony pompliano he has a great podcast uh, off the chain and this he this is what he said in 2018 lambos don't come overnight are we intentionally skipping the 2017 mania the answer is yes all right the extraordinary crypto price hike of 2017 might have res resulted in a lambo or two but the days of making a quick buck overnight can be considered long gone however as we mentioned earlier investing rewards the patient and in the past decade decade crypto has been particularly good to its investors so again you have to be patient and you have to take things into consideration and the you know the people that made the big money in crypto you know in 2017 didn't make that money overnight it may have seemed seemed like they made that money overnight because you started to see you know in the news you know somebody bought a lamborghini or a ferrari whatever the case is right it was you know mostly lambos and you know because this is crypto but it may have seemed that they this happened for them overnight but you gotta remember those same people took a chance they took a risk back in 2011 they took a risk back in 2012 put a hundred dollars or i shouldn't say put but bought a hundred dollars bought five hundred dollars worth of bitcoin back then and just held it some of them even lost a lot more than that with the mount gox situation where the exchange got hacked people's been been in this game for a while so they they've 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 basically earned it so to speak right all right why running an investment marathon is good for you. so i'm just going to read this whole thing here so while a sprint in our case investing with very short periods of time in mind can be fun and exciting it can also be highly unpredictable and stressful on the other hand time tends to smooth out the stress making investing more like running a marathon you know some of us have actually done it a few times running the marathon is much like invest do a bit of training investigate your investment options so do your research toe the start line start investing the best time to start to, to grow a tree was 20 years ago all right the second best time is right now embrace the highs and get through the lows or better yet just ignore the daily price movements don't watch the prices if it stresses you out too much don't look at it just don't look at the prices all you got to do is basically dollar cost average dollar cost average just like one of my videos past videos recently where I showed if you bought a dollar worth of Bitcoin every day for the past five years you would have had 2.2 Bitcoin right now which is basically over twenty thousand dollars invest in a dollar a day for the past five years all right high five and say hi to the people cheering you on along the way once you start investing you become part of a community of people looking after their future again we we can start discussing things in the comment section below you know become youtube friends and so on and so forth you know join telegram groups go to meetups things of that nature but most importantly keep running all right you just got to keep investing don't stop all right keep running keep it going don't get discouraged by the, the daily price swings you know bitcoin bitcoin was at what like ten thousand eight hundred the other day and then now it's back down to nine thousand seven hundred like don't don't look at that don't pay attention to that just see that as an opportunity to get more on the dips all right so let's discuss the discuss this article in this comment section below smash up the likes share it and you know what are your thoughts is investing a, more like a marathon or is it a sprint you know you only hear you only care about you know getting those gains within a week or so <laughs> which is doesn't happen all right that's just more like a big connect kind of thing all right that shit doesn't happen all right so this is your boy sergeant crypto and i'm out thanks for watching smash the likes and i'm out peace